Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at a very simple differentiation. We're going to be combining um, the addition and the subtraction form of differentiation. See, what's on the board is very simple. And I want you to just remember the general differentiation rule that says if you have x to power n and you want to differentiate this, it will give you, by the end of the day, if you are differentiating this, this is your n. You bring your n down here and then you subtract 1 from your n. So it will give you n x n minus 1. So this is the general formula. Very easy to apply. I'm going to apply this to each of these terms. Each of these terms. So coming back to this, I have y is equal to x to the power 4 plus 5x to the power 3 minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 2x to the power 0. Now, I'm putting x to the power 0 because whatever to the power 0 is what is 1. So it doesn't really affect anything here. But to some very good scholars, you might decide to remove this. When you differentiate a constant, you know, because this value here doesn't have an x, we term to call it a constant. So this is a constant. And whenever you are differentiating a constant, it becomes zero. That's why I'm putting this so that it, I will show you why it is getting to zero, or why it becomes zero. So the power of x, if you check, it is decreasing from 4, 3, 2, let me say 1, then x to the power 0. So finding my derivative of this is going to be, um, as you all know, dy dx, or I can say y prime. The both of them are the same thing. The y dx and y prime are the same thing. It's going to give me, I'm going to differentiate each of this term, each of them, each of the term, I'm going to differentiate there using the general differentiation principle. Now, this is going to be 4x to the power 3 plus 3 times 5 is 15 x so 3 here now minus 1 is 2 minus 2 times this gives me 8 2 minus 1 is just x then plus here is 1 right x to the power 1 so 1 times 7 is 7 then this 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So x to the power 0 is what is 1. So I'm not putting the 1 here. Then minus 0 times 2 is what is 0. So there's no need of putting the 0 here. So this is it. If I'm asked to look for the derivative of y equals to x to the power 4 plus 5x to the power 3 minus 4x to the power 2 plus 7x minus 2, what I'm going to get is this. It's a very simple and very straightforward differentiation. If you have any question, you can ask from the comment section. If you have not subscribed on this channel, please subscribe. So that you'll be among the first person to receive every of the video I will send on differentiation, integration, and whatever topic you want. So till then, see you in the next class.